Are you, do you think you're going to be a serial entrepreneur? I'd like to think that I'm more, you know, open to anything, but I think it's hard to imagine going to a world where you're not getting to think about inventing reality after having experienced what's that, what that's like. I think inventing, so maybe there are, you know, companies where that's happening and that's possible to be your job, but there's something really, I don't know how to say it, but intoxicating about when you can finally like just realize that, you know, we all have it in us to just create something from nothing and how you can like help others suspend mm -hmm. their disbelief in their ability to do that. And, you know, I think that that is just so incredible that that's possible. And I don't know how to go back from having that experience. Um, my last question, where do you, where do you see yourself in 10 years? <sighs> I guess it's been 10 years um, since I launched almost. So I don't know. I mean, it's hard for me to picture a world where I'm not doing this. Um, but like I said, I want to be someone who understands what this needs, like first and foremost. So I don't know. I don't see myself not doing this right now, but. I think that just goes to human nature. When you think about you as a person, I feel that we always envision ourselves as, or we feel closer to who you were because you can, you knew that person. So yeah. It's easier to understand it. Um, I can't imagine a time when I'm not thinking about the everyday beauty consumer and how to invent the new reality for that consumer. Mm -hmm.